Speaking for the 50th reunion class of 1959 will be Susan Forney Boyd, who will share a few words about her class and their 50th reunion gift. Thank you, Susan. Always up. Greetings from the great class of 1959. The 100th graduating class of Mary Institute. We would like to give special thanks to MICDS and to Lisa Lyle for hosting two wonderful lunches yesterday and today, and especially to Louise Jones and Kelly Dotman and their staff for their great assistance in planning this reunion. Mary I, along with our families, created a strong foundation for our lives. Mr. Beasley and our teachers encouraged a love of learning, and as students, we created many friendships which endure today. This is how some of our classmates express their experiences. High standards and kindness for Mr. Beasley. Commitment to excellence and doing your best. Lots of wonderful friendships and caring environment. They taught me discipline, appreciation of others, loyalty, and the desire to grow intellectually and spiritually. We left as students and became artists, ranters, photographers, educators, therapists, caregivers, philanthropists, environmentalists, economists, bankers, researchers, volunteers, mentors, supporters of the arts, gardeners, sportswomen, wives, mothers, and grandmothers. We are fortunate to have experienced an education that encouraged learning, strong values, hard work, sharing, and giving back. The following are expressions of the latter. The three legacies we leave today exemplify those principles of sustainability that guided our entire reunion planning process. Sustainability re represents baby steps, steps in the right direction, and 50 years ago, the class of 59 had a visionary idea of designing and donating the seal in front of the current Danforth Middle School, the original Beasley Building, which has weathered the test of time, as have we. And thanks to Lisa Lyle, it has been cleaned, buffed, and sealed to last for years to come. Fifty years later, the 100th graduating class pioneered the school's first, I believe, green and sustainable reunion. One week after Earth Day, we are pleased to honor the planet and all who dwell here, being mindful of conserving resources and building community. What did we do? Well, here are some of the highlights. We went virtually paperless. By using electronic communication and limited mailings, we saved paper, printing, and postage. We went electronic. We created a reunion website to share all the latest information about the reunion events and classmates. We are publishing the first, I believe, electronic yearbook, recycling entries from our 1959 yearbook and adding updates for all of our classmates. We minimized travel and carpooled. For those of us traveling to St. Louis, we offset our carbon emissions by purchasing renewable energy credits and we have live centerpieces for our events. Secondly, sustainability is a process of continuous improvement and to encourage future classes to go green, we are developing an electronic guide to planning a green reunion, which we will give to the alumni office. Our hope is that each succeeding class will make their reunions greener and greener and expect that in the not too distant future, green reunions will be the norm. Sustainability is also the golden rule through time. We benefited from an outstanding education and would like to help others do the same. In that spirit, despite difficult economic times, our classmates have been exceedingly generous in donating to our class gift, which will support tuition remission for children of faculty and staff who attend MICDS. It is our way of saying thank you to those who taught and mentored us. And we hope that future generations will experience some of the valuable educational opportunities that we had. 
our gift will go to tuition remission and will also include the Loeb Fund for Excellence in the Teaching of Mathematics. The amount of our gift is $145,139. We congratulate MICDS for its extensive sustainability initiatives and curricula that will educate students today about the choices and contributions that will sustain them, their families, their communities, our environment, and our economy for years to come. And we look forward to hearing about the many new initiatives when we return for our 60th. Thank you.